a spectacular journey begins into the forests that cover vast areas of China. From the spruces high up on the roof of the world to the vast expanses of bamboo in the southeast, from the tropical rainforests of the deep south to the mountain pines of the far northeast, there are so many lives to explore and so many sounds to hear. It's a wonderful journey of discovery. For three years, as dawn changed to dusk and summer to winter, the Forest China research team conducted their study of the virgin forests across the country. Beyond the boundaries of the society we're so familiar with, it's the gradually forgotten natural world. The virgin forests are a last place to experience the true rigor of Mother Nature to listen to her original songs. They're songs of loneliness and resplendence, brightness and hardship. And sometimes they are the first and last breaths of life. This little spruce is 16 centimeters high. Its three branches indicate that it's three years old. Beside it, where it stands below Nanjia Bawa Peak, is an ancient spruce. A Tibetan spruce, when fully grown, can be 70 meters high and two meters in diameter. This forest in southeastern Tibet is the highest in the world. The Tibetan Plateau was formed 40 million years ago due to the collision of the Indian Ocean Plate and the Eurasian Plate. The warm and humid air mass from the Indian Ocean is obstructed by peaks as it heads north. This brings plentiful rainfall to southeastern Tibet, and the forest there enjoys more precipitation than any other in China. Nanjia Bawa 
is the highest peak in southeastern Tibet. Within the spruce forest at the mountain's foot, it is gloomy and sunless. The distance between trees is only a few meters, making it the world's densest spruce forest. The ultraviolet light on the plateau is more than 10 times stronger than on the plain. The little spruce, if exposed to the sunlight directly, will be killed by the ultraviolet light within a few hours. The thick crowns of its elders have blocked the sunlight and provided it with the protection it needed. However, now that it's three years old, the spruce needs more sunlight to grow. What filters through the old spruce's crowns is no longer adequate. Near the little spruce stands a dandy prat spruce. Though only a little over 10 years old, this spruce will never grow any higher. It will die before it is 20 due to lack of sunlight. The warm and humid monsoon wind from the Indian Ocean ascends with growing power along the mountain. Dead wood falls from the old spruces allowing more sunlight to reach the ground. Thus, the little spruce gets its opportunity. This is a chance given by nature for it to grow. The little spruce, like the rest of the plateau, welcomes the change of seasons and willingly joins the cycle of birth and rebirth in the world's highest forest. <laughs> 